Hi, I'm Lea. I'm Martin. And we're from Made by Marley. And today we're doing a short video on the launch of our decoupage paper. Yay. It, it's, be, it, it's been emotional. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. <laughs> it's, it's been emotional. What we don't know about decoupage paper now, it isn't really worth knowing. Anyway, so what can I tell you about Made by Marley decoupage paper? It's completely unique. When I started looking at decoupage paper, because I use decoupage paper all the time in my work, I'm always looking for something that's bohemian. I'm always looking for something that's bright, patterned and bold. And these are not easy to come by. And I end up doing them in paint finishes, but I wanted something that I could add to. Um, and I'm sure that you'll appreciate, you know, we're not all wanting sort of one large shape or something with not much color. I mean, there are a lot of people out there who like this kind of look. So they're really, really colorful and bright and patterned. Um, because I've designed them, and this is what I do for a living, I've thought of things that mean something to me. So where are they gonna go? On the fronts of your cupboards, on the fronts of your drawers, in the insides of your drawers, in the insides of your piece, down the sides of your piece. And we have done multiple trials on glass, ceramic, um, mirror, um, <coughs> the insides of furniture. Everything you outside can think of. of furniture. <laughs> rough wood smooth wood you name it we have tested it and it's been rigorously tested and this is why it's taken so long um that's all i've got to say about my well piece. i mean it's it's a it's a real team effort um this this paper lel lel's obviously the artist um, where i come in is i take lel's concepts lel's designs and <clears throat> you know i do everything on the digital side of things um and and look just talking about that for a second you know what we've been through in terms of the types of paper that we've tested over and over and over and over again i know way too much about paper now, but nobody should know about about that much about paper we've tested everything and what we've ended up with uh, where we've finally landed is um is a paper that the, the closest thing that i can cut that i can sort of equate it to is something along the lines of a kind of newspaper kind of type material. Um, it's recyclable, it's um, biodegradable, it's, um, it's got the right amount of weight to it. Um, it's robust. That it's, that it's, it's robust, yes, yeah, it doesn't, it, although it tears, it doesn't just tear by itself. Um, it can be quite, Quite brutal with it we have i've watched a lot of decoupage application videos and poor souls using tissue paper and thinner paper and they go to do their drawers and the weight of their glue behind it breaks it rips it yeah and we've, we've so we've really tested all those. these different types of papers and this we've we've landed on this one because we think it ticks all the boxes we're really pleased with this really pleased with it it allows tested it on multiple surfaces and it's performed exceptionally well in every case yeah it has isn't it oh it has it yeah. has yeah right so i'm just going to show you um i'll just take one at random um this one's called night out and what it is is it's a sort of kind of moroccan -y sort of vibe i think i was going for the reason why i did this sort of pattern is if you look at these flowers here these without much artistic you know kind of what you can do with these is you could easily recreate these flowers just with some pink and put a little bit of dark highlight and some gold splashes in the middle. So I had visions of these being able to carry out. In fact, I'm probably going to do this maybe as my next piece, get these pieces of flowers and carry them out. I also thought the blue background, you could do a lot of different distress on there, some gold stars. And I just thought the colors, the colors were really nice. Now, each one of our decoupage papers packs are three a three a threes so you get three in a pack but what i've tried to do is make a collection so that you can do one large piece of furniture quite often you buy one a three sheet but what are you going to do with one a sheet when you've got a big wardrobe so or a larger piece that you want to make work with and this is why i'm saying i really thought about it so in each pack you get three so in this pack so we have the birds but they're both facing different ways which means you could do your cupboard fronts and it comes with a complementary pattern which works with the piece which you could do your uh, drawer fronts with, or you could just rip it up and put it around about this pattern. And as I said, this works because I know that these could be easily created just with some loose strokes, you could do this. A little bit of gold splatters 
you've got this going on kind of thing. Um, I'm not going to show you them all. You'd have to go to the website. So there's so many. There's, uh, there's uh, 16 designs to begin with. 16. And each of them come as three, three sheets of A3. So this one here, um, and you'll have already seen the video for this one, but this is My Sweet Clementine, and it has two of the orange and one of the coordinating pattern. And just as a last sneak peek, I'm just going to... There's this one here. I'll show you this one. This one's called Nelly because it's got some elephants on it. They've all got funny names. Um, so you get two of Nelly and you get one of just the pattern. And there's some really nice colours in this. Any sort of stamp and stencil, you can recreate this gold work. So you can really move across your, your piece with all these different colours. As I said, most of it is bright and bohemian. There are a few collections that are actual artwork artworks. There's one called Vincent and it has three, not the normal Vincent van Gogh's um, artwork, there's three unusual ones and there's one really special um, artwork called Una and the Lion and it's from the Scottish um, Museum Gallery and we pay royalties on that to be able to use that design. It used to sit on a piece of furniture down here in the corner, I don't know if anybody and can Lots remember. of people asked about lots it. Lots of people so. asked about Una and the Lion and it's, it means an awful lot to me and it will be on the website and it comes with a coordinating pattern of leaves. But since it's this time of the year and we're kind of thinking about it but not quite thinking about it, I also did a little Christmas collection. So obviously I love a little bit of vintage. So we've got Santa, we've got this one and we have this cute little, if I can move Minnie out of the way, Martin's going to show you, Joy. And I just stuck this one in a drawer the other day just to kind of give you an idea. This is why I'm saying it is for furniture. But the small crafters can work with it as well. So if you imagine you get a drawer and you put a piece of our Christmas decoupage paper, put some little bottle brush trees, some robins and a bit of snow on, along there. And you've got something you can hang up on your wall for Christmas. It's that simple. Now, how do you apply it? Again, like this whole process, there has been <laughs> there's been multiple testings on every kind of medium to apply this known to man. Um, uh, you can use white glue, which we in the UK call PVA, watered down in a jam jar, shake it just to make it a little bit thinner. You can use that. Um, you can use lacquer. Now, I did the Clementine piece that you've seen already with lacquer, and I felt it was lifting slightly. So I went back to using Mod Podge, and I'm really having good results with Mod Podge. So whatever really your medium is and how you work with your decoupage paper, I really think that, you know, something with a little bit more tooth because it is a little bit more robust will work. Um, it goes on wrinkle free. I've done tons of testing, tons. This is rough. What do you call this board? Plywood. <laughs> it's ply. Martin knows his, <laughs> Martin knows his woods. Um, this is just rough plywood and I applied these both these sheets onto here and there isn't a wrinkle on them. The, 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 that's just the way it is. How do you work with it? Um, I use a chalk based paint majority of the time, especially when I'm using decoupage. If I'm using a self sealing paint, you need to put a few more layers. But all you really need to do is make sure you're, you're step off. So, for example, if I just take this off of here and you imagine this was your surface, you can apply this first. It doesn't need a white background. And I designed it that way because at first I was doing vellum, but I was running into that same problem that I have with other tissue papers and things that. I don't always want to have a white background of things. I want to apply it onto top of colour. So I negated that and got rid of that and decided it was something that I didn't want to see the background through. So it's you can kind of see through it in the light, but it's it's not a it's not a see-through paper. But when you're kind of working with it, if you glue it on, now all our all our decoupage paper comes with a little edge. It's just one of those things that came with printing, but that's a non-negotiable for you because you're just going to, you have to always rip decoupage paper. You have to rip the edges to make sure that you have the best application. These little fibers that when you go down onto your surface, these are the things that you're going to paint up to. And a chalk based paint over up to the edge and just onto that. And then another application on top of it and your line will be gone. There's not much step up at all when it's ripped. So that's how you um, apply it. I've already said all the things you can apply it onto. And I'm going to hand over to the lovely Martin now. So to begin with, we um, we well, we will have a US distributor for the for the for the papers. 
Um, but until everything is up and running, we've decided on a very straightforward approach where we are going to pro be providing free worldwide shipping. Um, I'll ship it anywhere in the world. So um, the, the product's available on our website now. Mm -hmm. um, and Today. postage, worldwide postage, the raw mail in the UK, quote, five to seven days. I'm going to say expect eight days just to be safe, um, which gives you time to get onto Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace and everywhere else, find your piece of furniture, do all your prep work, and it'll be ready for your papers arriving. The time you've given it a good scrub, it'll be there. Yep. Yeah. So that's us for today. That's it. The, it's been launched and um, that I'm sure we all yep. loved having the lovely Martin here <laughs> today. He is the wind beneath my yeah, wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, Talent lackey. <laughs> <laughs> so if you like um, furniture art, furniture um, reimagining and you want to know how to use decoupage paper and you want to see our decoupage paper in theory and practice and how it actually plays out, then please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Um, if you know other people that like decoupage paper, please consider sharing it with people. Give us a like, give us a comment, tell us what you think, go onto the website, have a look at the collections and tell us, tell us all about it and tell us also if you've had any disasters with decoupage paper in the past and how you, if you have any fears in using it and I'll try and negate all your fears. I'll get back to you for anybody who leaves messages to us. So we've been Martin and Lael from Made by Marley today and thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Um, what else That's can a bit say? for me. Um, I... <laughs> what else can we say? Um, that's thanks, a, that's thanks, a, that's thanks for taking the time to watch us. We've been Martin and Lyle from Made by Marley. If you like decoupage paper, please share this. Okay. Um, like our videos you, to see you more. You do all that bit, yeah. Okay, so that's it for today, and I'm sure you enjoyed having the lovely Martin. Oh, it was my pleasure. Uh -huh, he's the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> <laughs> this is the background thing that Martin does just about everything, and I just hate no, furniture. No, it's not. <laughs> Should we watch it and see it? Yeah, let's see how bad or good it is. I hope I don't have to do the Santa one again because I've ripped him. I think that piece was okay.